Welcome to Da Nang, one of the most beautiful and livable coastal cities in Vietnam. Situated in the central region of the country, Da Nang holds a strategic location, positions almost equal distance between the capital Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh cities. It serves as a bustling hub for finance, transportation, tourism, and innovation in the region. Moreover, Da Nang also serves as a nexus connecting three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Hue Imperial Cities, Hoi An Ancient Town, and Mi Sơn Sanctuary, forming an unparalleled cluster of destination in Vietnam. Da Nang has a tropical monsoon climate with two distinct seasons, the rainy season from September to December and the dry season from January to August. Occasionally, there are periods of cold weather in the rainy season, but they are not prolonged. The average annual temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius, with peaks in June, July and August, and lows in December, January and February. Overall, Da Nang is a year-round tourist destination, with the period from April to September being the best time to visit the city. However, these periods coincide with the high summer tourist season, so the city can be quite crowded. As one of the most developed cities in Vietnam with a well-established infrastructure, Da Nang is incredibly accessible. One noticeable feature of the cities is its centralized transportation hubs, with the airport, railway station and bus terminals all conveniently located within the city centre. Da Nang International Airport is the largest airport in the central region. Situated about 3 km from the city centre, connecting to most domestic flights and many international destinations such as Singapore, Bangkok and Seoul. Da Nang Railway Station is an important railway station on the North-South Railway Line, approximately 800 km from Hanoi Station and over 900 km from Saigon Station. Particularly noteworthy is the railway route from Hue to Da Nang via the Hyvan Pass, considered the most scenic railway journey in Vietnam. Da Nang has two major bus terminals, the Central Bus Station and the Southern Bus Station. Between them, the Central Bus Station is a primary hub, offering services to destinations such as Hue, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. Getting around the city is incredibly easy with 11 bus routes connecting to the most popular tourist destinations in Da Nang. This includes some popular routes such as Route 3 to Banner Hills, Route 6 to Dragon Bridge, Mikke Beach and Marble Mountains. Da Nang is a major tourism hub in Vietnam offering a variety of accommodation to suit your needs and budget. Hotels are primarily concentrated in the city centre and along the coastline with prices tending to increase closer to the beach. Hostels provide a budget-friendly option for those seeking basic amenities. Resorts are mainly situated along the coastal streets, offering private beaches and modern amenities. With its strategic location, breathtaking landscape and rich cuisine, Da Nang has become an unmissable destination in Vietnam. If you only have a few days in the cities, here are some places you should visit. Mi Que Beach stretches 900 meters along Vo Nguyen Zap Street, about 3 kilometers from the city center. It's the most beautiful and easily accessible beach in Da Nang. With its white sandy shores, gentle waves and warm waters year-round, Mi Que Beach offers a sense of tranquility and comfort for visitors. Besides swimming, it's also an ideal place to participate in water activities and sports such as windsurfing, kiteboarding, surfing and jet skiing. The Da Nang Museum of Charm Sculpture showcases artifacts related to the sculptural art of the Chamba Kingdom found in Cham Towers and Citadels across Central and Central Highlands, Vietnam. The museum displays approximately 500 art objects dating from the 7th to the 15th century, including national treasures such as the Tara statue, the Ganesha statue, and the Jaggi Altar. Situated around 10 kilometers from the city center, 
Sun Chai Peninsula is a natural reserve and a popular tourist destination in Da Nang, bordered by the seas on three sides. From the peak of the peninsula, Po Ban Ke Peak, you can enjoy a panoramic view of Da Nang. A spiritual landmark not to be missed on Sun Chai Peninsula is the Ling Ung Pagoda, the largest pagoda in Da Nang, both in scale and architectural artistry. The pagoda stands out with a 67-meter bodhisattva statue overlooking the sea. Banna Hills, located atop Nui Chua Mountain at nearly 1,500 meters above sea level and about 25 kilometers from Da Nang Center, offer a vast resort and entertainment complex. Divided into accommodation, entertainment and spiritual areas, highlights include cable car system, the French village, Deep Bay Wine Cellar, Le Jardin de Mou Gardens and Fantasy Amusement Park. One iconic feature of this complex is the Golden Bridge, designed to resemble a giant hand supporting a 150-meter-long pedestrian walkway. Gold Market is a popular shopping destination in Da Nang, located right in the city center. The name Gold Market, with gold mini mount in Vietnamese, dates back to the 1940s when the market was located on a high mount in the heart of the city. It is one of the largest markets in Da Nang, covering an area of over 14,000 square meters with more than 2,000 stores. The market offers a wide range of goods, including groceries, household items, footwear, clothing, fruits, and especially affordable and delicious local cuisine. Located about 8 kilometers from the city center, along the road from Da Nang to Hoi An, Marble Mountains is a scenic area consisting of six limestone mountains named Kim Sun, Mok Sun, Thuy Sun, Hoa Sun, comprising two mountains, and Do Sun. Among these, Thuy Sun is the most beautiful mountain and the main tourist attraction. It features nine caves and five temples, including Time Thai Pagoda and Ling Ung Pagoda, two ancient pagodas that preserve many valuable relics. As a significant gateway to central Vietnam, Da Nang's cuisine is a blend of various culinary backgrounds, yet it still preserves the distinctive characteristics of local traditional cuisine. Start your culinary journey in Da Nang with Mi Wan, a specialty dish of both Da Nang and Wat Nam areas. Unlike other Vietnamese noodle dishes, Mi Wan is served with a little amount of broth similar from pork bones, chicken and shrimp. The Mi Wan noodles are flat, slightly chewy and made from rice flowers. The toppings are diverse including pork ribs, chicken, shrimp and snake head fish. Mi Wan is typically served with a variety of fresh herbs such as basil, lettuce, cress, bean sprout and sesame rice crackers. Bún mắm nem may not be the dish for everyone, but it embodies the characteristic flavors of Central Vietnamese cuisine. True to its name, the main components of bún mắm nem are rye vermicelli, bún and mắm nem, a fermented fish sauce usually made from anchovy or mackerel. In the bowl of bún mắm nem, there are typically three layers. The bottom layer consists mainly of green vegetables such as lettuce, cucumbers, herbs, and bean sprouts. The second layer is fry vermicelli. On top are roasted pork, thinly sliced boiled pork ears, Vietnamese beef sausage, fermented pork roll, and peanuts. Bún chả cá is a familiar dish in Central Vietnamese cuisine, featuring mainly bún, fried vermicelli, and chả cá fish cake. The fish cakes are made from various types of fish such as mackerel, herrings, and paracuda. The fish is deboned, minced, seasoned, and shaped before being steamed or fried. Bún refers to the popular rice vermicelli in Vietnamese cuisine, made from rice flowers with a milky white colors and fine strains. The broth with its golden orange hills is simmers from pork bone, fish bones, pumpkins, dried bamboo shoots, and tomatoes. Bún chả cá is served with fresh lettuce, 
bean sprout, and Vietnamese coriander. In the final part of the video, we will suggest you some exciting activities when visiting this coastal city. One eagerly anticipated event every weekend evening is the Dragon Bridge Fire and Water Breathing Show. The Dragon Bridge is an iconic landmark of Da Nang, designed to resemble a dragon riding its way over the Han River and facing the sea. At 9pm on every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the dragons start the performance with 12 minutes of fire breathing, taking place two times with 9 fire bursts, and end with 3 minutes of water breathing. About a 20 minutes walk from the Dragon Bridge, the Han River Bridge is another highlight of Da Nang City Escape, which is known as the first and only screen bridge in Vietnam. Its central section rotates 90 degrees around its axis to allow large shifts to pass through. The bridge starts rotating at 1 am and ends at around 2 to 4 am during weekdays and from 11 pm until midnight on Saturdays and Sundays. If you are someone who enjoys exploration and offer adventure, a journey through the Haven Pass promises to be a memorable experience. This 20 km pass connecting Da Nang and Hue is one of the most stunning yet challenging mountain routes in Vietnam. Its name, Hai Vân means sea clouds, reflecting its breathtaking beauty with the mountain top often shrouded in clouds and the sea at its base. At the peak of the pass lies Hai Vân Wan, a historic military fortress dating back to 1826 and recently renovated in 2021. However, due to its numerous fly corners and sharp curves, navigating the pass is recommended only for those with proficient motorbike driving skills. Renaus as the most lovable cities in Vietnam, Da Nang is a fantastic destination with diverse natural landscapes, stunning beaches and a healthy living environment. Whether you're planning a short day trip or an extended vacation, this city always has something to offer for everyone. Come to Da Nang and share your thoughts on this city. See you in Da Nang.